Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of MJ Every Day, a training based episode for you guys today, an episode that I know a lot of you have been waiting a while, waiting patiently for me to shoot. One of the most common questions that I personally get asked when it comes to training, how do you grow your calves? Or more particularly, I always get a lot of you know nice feedback, nice compliments about my calves. They're a very dominant muscle group for me. People always complimenting me on you know how nice my calves look, how well shaped they are, how big they are. So I'm always getting a lot of positive feedback. And on the back of that, people want to know my tips and tricks that I've used over the years to, to grow my calves. Because for a lot of people, calves are, you know, if not the, definitely one of the most stubborn muscle groups or one of the most difficult muscle groups. And for a lot of people, a very weak muscle group that they just, can, you know, whatever they try and do, they can't seem to get it to grow. So I wanna share with you some of the things that I've done over the years to, to make my calves a, a dominant muscle group and to get my calves to grow. First and foremost, you know, I always get asked, what are the tips and tricks uh, that you use to, 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 to make your calves grow over the years? And I just want to dispel that straight away, guys. Unfortunately, there's no tips and tricks. There's no magical exercise, magical rep range, magical uh, number of times to train them per week. It, the, the, there is no, no trick to it. It is like any other muscle group. It comes down to consistency, training volume, range of motion, my muscle connection, and all the stuff that I'm gonna discuss with you guys in the rest of this episode. But so far as the tips and tricks go, you know, if you were tuning into this episode hoping to get that one magical exercise, uh, you should probably leave now <laughs> because there is no magic, there's no trick to it. It, uh, you know, it really does come down to, to three things, and that's what I'm gonna discuss with you guys in this episode. The first is range of motion, the second is my muscle connection, and the third is training volume. So I'm going to go through each of those one by one for you guys and, and go a little bit deeper for you. So the first with regards to range of motion. Now I have done an episode of MJ Every Day on this already. It's appearing on screen at the moment. If you haven't watched that, definitely go check it out. Calves is, is one of those muscle groups where full range of motion on every single rep and every single exercise that you do is an absolute must. Now in that that previous episode of MJ Every Day, I discussed that some, perhaps some exercises with some muscle groups, you don't want to do full range of motion. But calves, like unequivocally, you, you, one of the most important things is full range of motion. Full stretch all the way down, full squeeze all the way up as hard as you can possibly squeeze your calves on every single rep of every single exercise you do. Full range of motion is a major, major key when it comes to growing calves and something that I see a lot of people not take full advantage of or a lot of people mess up. They're doing top half partials, bottom half partials, bouncing at the bottom of reps and doing all sorts of weird shit when it comes to you know your standing calf raise, your seated calf raise, your leg press calf raise, your donkey calf raise, whatever version of calf raise you're doing, full range of motion is an absolute must and a major, major key. The second thing is mind muscle connection. I've also shot an episode of MJ Every Day on, on this, one of the most popular episodes we've seen thus far. That's appearing on screen at the moment. Definitely also go check that out if you haven't seen that episode. Once again, when it comes to calves, mind muscle connection is super, super important. And the reason why it's super, super important, particularly with calves, is because you have a very powerful tendon at the back of your leg that, that, that resides down near your ankle called your Achilles tendon. And your Achilles tendon is not a muscle, it's a tendon, but it is able to dominate a lot of calf raising type movements if you don't have correct mind muscle connection on each and every rep of each of every set of your calves. So my muscle connection is very, very important when it comes to training calves. You really need to focus on not doing an exercise, not lifting the weight from point A to point B, not taking the calf through a particular range of motion as such, but 
focusing on contracting the calf from a fully stretched position to a fully contracted position against the resistance on every single calf exercise that you do. So when you're doing seated calf, when you're doing standing calf, leg press calf, donkey calf, whatever calf raise movement you do, your mind muscle connection must be on contracting that calf muscle, not doing the exercise, not taking the weight from point A to point B, not moving the calf from point A to point B, but actually contracting the calf muscle because if you don't focus on that 100% of the time your Achilles tendon is going to take over do all the work for you you start bouncing you start using the elasticity in that Achilles tendon on your calves to do the work and the calf is not actually going to be working at all in which case you're not going to be stimulating any calf muscle growth the third and as important as those first two are, as important as range of motion and my muscle connection are, most people get that, right? If you're in this, if you're in this game, if you're in this health and fitness game, you understand range of motion, you understand the importance of it, you understand my muscle connection. This third point is, is the one thing I see people stuffing up the most, and that is volume. Most people will throw calves on at the end of a leg workout or even the start of a leg workout and maybe do two exercises, do 10 sets of which two or three of them are working sets and wonder why their calves don't grow when they smash chest for 25, 30 working sets two times a week and they smash back for 30 or 40 working sets a week and they smash legs for 30 or 40 working sets a week and calves are getting two or three working sets a week and they wonder why calves aren't growing. That's why calves aren't growing because you're not stimulating muscle with the same training volume that you're doing every other muscle group. It really is as simple as that. This is, in fact, I mentioned at the start of this episode there were no tips and tricks. This is a, a, a tip more than a trick of when I was younger and you know, getting my calves up, building my calves was a major priority for me. I used to, and Big Swalbait and I used to train together every day. We used to have a day where we would go into the gym and just train calves. So you know, everyone's familiar with like a chest day, a back day, an arm day, a shoulders day, a leg day, or if you're push pull legs, a push day, a pull day, a leg day. We used to have a calf day. So we would go to the gym and just train calves. And we would do every exercise we could think of, four, five, six different exercises, standing calf, seated calf, leg press calf with a straight, uh, with a locked knee, leg press calf with a bent knee, uh, donkey calf with a straight knee, donkey calf with a bent knee, as many different exercises as we could possibly do, and as many working sets as we could possibly do, similar to the way you train every other muscle group. So we would go to the gym and literally train calves for an hour, hour and a half, as long as it took, and hit 30, 35, sometimes even 40 working sets for calves like you do every other muscle group. And we did that every single week, one workout a week, one calf day a week, just like most other muscle groups, you train them once a week or maybe twice a week, depending on the muscle group. But for us, it was one workout a week, just training calves, but the amount of volume we were putting through our calves was literally 10 times what most people put through their calves in terms of the number of working sets per week that you're actually, that you're actually uh, subjecting those muscles to. So workout volume is a major, major thing that I think a lot of people stuff up because they just don't pay attention to it. They just don't understand that you can't train calves for three, five, even 10 working sets a week and expect them to grow at the rate that your chest grows at or your back grows at or the rest of your legs grow at when you're subjecting those muscle groups to 30 plus working sets a week. The maths just doesn't add up. There's not enough muscle stimulation there. And I see a lot of people also, you know, they might train calves every two, two or three days. So they train calves three or four times a week, but they're still only doing two or three actual working sets multiplied by three times a week. So it's still six to 10 working sets tops. Even if you're training them every second day, but you're only doing three working sets, 
maximum 12 working sets a week. It's not enough training volume. So that's a little tip that we used. We had a calf day. We just went to the gym and just smashed the absolute shit out of calves to the point where you literally could not walk uh, because of the delayed onset muscle soreness until calf day came around again, similar to how a lot of us train, train upper legs. Uh, and that was how we you know, managed to get enough workout volume in there to bring our calves up. And both my calves and uh, my calves and Joel's calves also are strong muscle groups of ours, very dominant muscle groups of ours. And we've never, you know, since then had an issue with, with growing our calves or calves being a stubborn or a weak muscle group. Guys, that's a wrap for today's episode of MJ Every Day. How do you grow calves? It comes down to three things, range of motion, full range of motion, proper mind-muscle connection, and then sufficient workout volume. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn your post notifications on, both on your desktop, PC, your mobile, and your cell phone so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until tomorrow, I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Stay massive.